Freedom, I need to talk to you about your growth, about your personality, how your personality can affect your growth, and a whole lot more. When you're doing YouTube, a lot of what you have to do to start is to figure out your personality. Because what works for others might not work for you. Or what works for others might work for you. The only way that you, as a YouTuber, are going to know what works for you and what doesn't is to try it. So sometimes you may feel tempted to slip into another YouTuber's skin. What is up, Freedom Family? I'm your host, Anthony Smith. Let's get right into the show. Trying out someone else's methods is not something that you should be ashamed of. Because, well, if it works for them, it might work for you. Anthony doesn't feed me, but you should, because I'm cute and I deserve it. Hey, audience, what are you doing looking at my dog like that. Oh, man, I've been doing like all kinds of stuff today and I don't know how it's going, but I don't know. I guess you're going to tell me how it's going. I, I don't know. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Transition of blackness and redness and whiteness. Of course, there are certain boundaries that you should not cross. Uh, directly copying someone's entire personality is probably not what you want to do. However, watching other YouTubers that you respect and that you enjoy, you may pick up things, subtle things, about their personality that you want to try. For instance, Anthony is a BMF! Guys, sorry for the low production quality of this video. However, I felt that it was important that I get the information out there. I feel that it's important for all of our growth to understand that sometimes it's okay to be who you are, but to also look at who you want to be and how you want others to see you. Till next time, guys, you've been watching when I was first starting out on YouTube, I picked out something from George. George was a very happy guy, and so was I, but I had trouble communicating that. I had trouble getting that out into the camera. So I worked on it, and I slowly and surely became a lot more comfortable being myself in front of a camera. And I became a lot less stiff. Hey there everyone, Anthony again. Just wanted to say that this style's not for me. But either way, I had to try it. Thank ya. YouTube is, in large, a self-discovery exercise. So figuring out not only who you are, but who you want to be, who you want to project yourself to be, can help. Many times we find ourselves not really knowing how to project ourselves on camera. For instance, I am very much the same guy that you see in front of you. However, normally I'm a little bit more foul-mouthed, and I usually tell much worse jokes. What's up, guys? This is a killer video. It's racked up all of 301 views right now. Should this be my style? Nah, I don't care, because if you don't like it, you can eat it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, you should really eat it. My name is Anthony Smith, and I do not approve this message. My question to you is, what YouTubers have you thought about emulating, and in what way? If you'd like, link us to either one of your videos or one of the people that you've been emulating's videos and explain why it is that you do certain things. Why is it that you want to emulate this person? And how did you enact that in a way that your audience may or may not have picked up on? Was it something big? Was it something small? I've actually noticed a lot of people have been picking up my end line. Which, if you don't remember, is... Till next time, I'm Anthony, with freedom. Like, subscribe, comments, please. So, yeah!
something Tabuscus would say. <laughs>